Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, nerds, and welcome back to Goliath. Last time we just arrived in this snow place, and we're here to follow the expedition. The signs point to that way. Before we do, I notice this guy sitting over here. Level 7, some sort of beast. Let's see if the, how this fire fist stuff works, huh? Yeah, he's on fire. And we're hitting him. And we activate our spin attack. And he is toast. Yeah. Oh, it looks like we're level 7. I don't know what level he was, but he went down. Not too much work, but still a bit, though. What's this thing here? What is this? What are you? Don't know what you are, but you're dead. The necklaces, I remember, were used for some sort of weapon. Got him. Some sort of village of people. Is that the skin? Our oh, weapon's almost broken. Not gonna be able to use it for much longer. All right, the arrows point this way. Heck is that in there? Let's get extension. Oh, come on, I'm aiming. Yep, level seven it is. Bam! Now it is uncontinated. I got some skins for it. Good more bear there. What's this up here? Snow crystal. That's cool. Looks like I ran over there to catch something. What is this? Get out of here. Who are you? Remember the Fox Brotherhood? I'm Lunch is what I am. Uh, where are the others? Uh, what happened? An expedition meant to contact the trolls, communicate with them. Some of us believe they are of intelligent, reasonable creatures. The Fox is the Trolls Alliance. Give me a second, I'll get you out of here. Too late to come back. Get out of here. I can talk to them. Maybe I can talk to them. I don't speak troll. Maybe I can guess. Goy Log Nog Dog. Uh, Log Dog? Grub Clab Grok. Goo Log Ba Dunkle Bork. Uh, yeah, Gonk. Gunk, bunk, flak, bog, yok. Trolls all attack! Aw, oh, man! These guys are no joke! They have friends! What the heck? No, 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 no. Home is this way. <laughs> Just making it worse. me. Oh, man. Oh, no. Invisibility.
Where is our home? Hey, where did they go? There's one. Hitting them. Most of us going in blocked. They can't come into my borders. Looks like I got the headpiece. Uh, plus 10 fire damage. Alright, now let's get the other piece there. Looks like I need more for that to work, so let's craft it away. Maybe with the bonus to fire damage, I can get this job done. Mm, science point two, maybe. Alright, looks like. Perhaps I've got the health needed to maybe not go down so quickly. Let's take the ice crystals though. I'm guessing it's this one. Yeah. So. It's not really repairing on its own. Like it's supposed to. The one we miss. Hmm. Let me see if I can't. Uh, looks like I need nine twigs for this to work. Okay, well. Is this a bush here? No. So I'm gonna need some twigs to make this work. supplies while we can because uh, maybe we can take him out by with this one it's got flame arms and he doesn't know we're coming oh wow he is no joke all right let's swing him let's swing him got no more repair dealies this thing blows I'm gonna have to uh Go to my backup thing that has not flame arms. Cool. Gotta go back and open the cage. Let's use the one with the most health. And if we happen to find some logs or twigs or whatever, we can repair it when we get back. Metal ore looks like. Alright. chest over here somewhere. There it is. More repair kits, money, and uh, mortars. Perfect traps. Okay. Well, that's cool, I guess. Go 
going. We got really lost when we were heading away from those guys. So let's make sure we know where we're going this time, huh? Just me, a little whip snapper. Oh wow, looks like the only reason we beat them last time is because we had firearms. That our firearms, everything is gonna eat us for lunch. So we're gonna go invisible till we get back to over here somewhere. Whoa! Oh no! And now we're lunch. Oh no! I don't know why I didn't just repair with the new repair things I had. Silly me. Our home is super far away. Maybe I can confuse and bamboozle. Oh, he's a predator. He's not confused and bamboozled. Knocked out. Man, first time for everything, I guess. So we wake up. How did I get back here? Several days later. Oh man. How long have I been out? So let's build the third rendition. We're gonna repair that one. Does a good job. And uh, this one also does a good job. Eh, why not? We're going to be number three. You see, the one we built, the most benefit to you. Probably the same dude that messed with me, huh? Get the repair going. It seems like the metal chest is the best course of action when you have uh, water nearby. So you think, why would I ever use that wood thing? Well, if you have a source of water, it regenerates, you know, its, it's downside is, uh, it's flammable, but if you're not in a flammable zone, or a zone where you need to worry about being flammable, then it's perfect. Right now, if we were in a place that, uh, That had water. This would be great. Give that amount. Okay. There you are. You're welcome. Sai, thanks, I guess. You guess? What? I should let him eat you? I'm friendless the kind. Friendless the kind. Chief diplomat. I just thought I could talk with these trolls and resolve things without violence and without me being lunch. But their language is so hard to learn. I need more time, and I think the foxes could have a great alliance and troll. Huh. Well, good luck with that. Listen, I have to find your leader. Do you know where, where the expedition went? Yeah, the expedition headed that way. Further into the waterless lands. I'll stay here and try to make these trolls again. Uh, thank you. Don't want none of you. No, thank you. All right, so... That's another thing. We did what we did here because uh, it's a snowland. And this setup works really nicely for the snowlands. But if we're going to go to not the snowlands, like where we're actually going to go, I think it's a desert or something, 
then uh, wood would not be the best, but we don't have anything to be the best for there, so let's just take what we got. Not fight with fire, because it seems silly to fight with things with fire there. And let's construct a new one, shall we? Let's see, uh, the wood. Oh, we already have the wood one crafted. We have what we need crafted. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a weapon to go with it. It's a club of coolness. One other song, song, strong glue, and then this will give us cold damage. And then a hand catapult. Yeah, let's do it. One other strong glue coming right up. Last one, because I'm out of resin. Okay. So we'll craft one of these. We'll craft one of these. Cool. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our number num numero uno, all wood dude. Oops. Tab. There we are. Now we're gonna take the cold thing here. And this thing here. And he's raring to go. Okay. Let's go. I'm here, need to go here. Also, to make sure to collect plenty of uh, supplies to make new things. Let's also look in on what we need to do for uh, the next level up for our Goliath. One second. Looks like I pushed the wrong button there. Escape. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay. So we need to go there. Anyway, let's see what we need to experiment for the next thing. Fire. Get level 9, which we're really close to. And kill 5 desert golems. In a wooden goliath. Okay, well. What do you suppose... I'm guessing this is a desert. Oh, that's a that's a dinosaur of some sort. Something's killing lizardmen over here. I'm guessing that's that it's that thing. Let's give this a shot, huh? Mm. They hit pretty hard, but not harder than us. Oh, they got us on fire. That is important to know. Let's see, is that what we needed to do? Yep, we need to kill five more of those things and we'll have the legs. Experiencing severe temperature issues here. Uh, this is home. Nice as it is to be home, we're on a mission. There's one. Let's try from this, shall we? <laughs> too many, too many! Key is to roll with the punches. Uh oh. Oh boy. Get you repaired. And weapons aren't on you anymore, so I gotta put those back on you. There we go. Now it's our body core that makes us flammable. Let's 
stick and move. There we go. That's why what you think, you gotta be moving, you gotta be mobile. You gotta be spry, pretty spry for that wood guy. Three. <laughs> That's cool. See that guy jumping? You gotta, you gotta get moving, huh? His, uh, his Lambo leap is as dangerous. think I need one more there it is there you are come here you beautiful bastard I might I count one of my kills because I dove back into my base for it and it's like you're being a cheatery man Wasn't for the fire damage, we could take these guys and stand up fight. But the fire damage really does us does us a number. So until we get to level nine, we gotta stick and move. Legs are good to go. I'm guessing it's telling us we have to do, do these things in a certain order because we're probably going to need these parts to make all of the different things. Okay, there's like four different arrows pointing all at this thing. What the heck is going on here? Rat people? me or in front of me, whatever it is you want to do. Cool beans. We're on fire. One armor left. That's what you get when you mix the gin and the juice. That should do it for the rats, but they, they set that fire and our leader is trapped. Gotcha, I'm on it. Build the stone goliath. Oh, <laughs> so I'm over here being a crazy person trying to get the fly fire glide unlocked, and it's just like, by the way, Stone Goliath in your future. New Goliath. This one is here. It is stone. Ooh, hoo, 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 shiny. Check the core. Mobile stone fortress come from a single piece of rock. Fire resistant. Perfect. Let's check the fist, shall we? Oh, you see, here's the thing. The wood and the fire were interchangeable. This guy is not so interchangeable with the fire part. But whatever, we're gonna craft this dude. Ooh, he looks super sexy. Very slow, very strong. Recognize the safest robot after a series of crash tests by ARCAP. Press the space part to block, greatly reducing all amounts of damage. Hold the block for 10 seconds and more and release for a powerful attack. 
Attack temperature, speed, and attack damage are increased. So fire, good for him. Overdrive. Drive meter fuels while taking damage. Hold the light attack to activate overdrive. The Goliath dashes forward in a ram. Level 7. Goliath reach temporary boost of strength attack speed. Level 15 is meteor shower. That's cool. Yes, he is a bit slower than the other guys. Uh, once we hit level 9, we're going to come back and we're going to turn this guy into a fire and this guy back entirely into a wood. Um, Understone, I think I saw. Frozen mace. So we're going to craft that. Then we're going to pick the tab. Inventory. And there we go. So we're a walking killing machine, we ain't afraid of fire, but we unleash the power of doom with our mace. This is pretty cool. I'm liking this. Yeah. First, I wasn't quite sure how things were going to work, but now I've unlocked a bunch of stuff and new experiments. Let's check. Oh, maybe. Maybe. No, experiments were based on the wood. Oh, here we are. Oh, this is an ice thing. Ooh, wow, there's so many more Goliaths than I thought there were. Let's see how taking these guys out is now that I'm fire resistant. Oh, yeah. They're barely getting through me. They got their big Lambo leap going, and I'm just laughing it off. Boom. Mess with the bull, you get the horns, baby. Uh oh, he stunned me. Let's check the inventory for our little catapult. Doesn't do much in the way of damage. Oh, it's wood. It can't go on here. Doesn't do much in the way of damage, but it gets their attention. No one else gets their attention? This. Block. Gotta remember to block. We're not a dodgy guy, we're a blocky guy now. There we go, just stick and move and stick and move. Alright. Now, we know we're cool. Let's not hang around here a bunch. Arrow says this way. Oh, there we go. It's like a long way to that way, huh? Okay, well, do 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 do. Shortcut. Let's see, we gotta build the. Uh... Alright, this is the right way. It wants us to go the long way because we need to get to the bridge. That we use to make more fire stuff. We can make fire catapults, and that's what we need to do. If we ever want to uh, be able to make one of those fire things again we have from the beginning. Now, we just found that, and that was pretty cool, but if we ever want to put it uh, to the deuce again, we need to get one. See, this thing is cool. There it is. Let's take out these flaming dead trees, because they can't hurt us, because... Well, they can, but not by much. Oh, hello to you, elder people. Whew, that was getting hot. I'm sure lucky you have it along. Long in your fireproof stone pants. How did you find me, stone pants? Uh, well, my name is actually... Never mind. Stone pants is fine. Okay, so, I'm not from this world. A friend of mine told me that you might know a way to get home. Home? Ah, oh, yes. The world you're sort of chipped off of. Far away, long ago. Yes, yes. The idea has passed into legend by people. Most are happy enough when they are so considered this just to be a story. But I know better. I know a way to this home you speak of. In happier times, I would help you freely. Stone pants, but these are not happier time for the foxes. Why not? 
The rats claim to have a terrible weapon capable of wiping out the entire forest brotherhood in an instant. Stone pants. Uh, they call it uh, the double orbiter. We know nothing about it at all, except that where it is kept. A locked black chest deep within the rat compound, and someone who seems to be an, an ally to the rats, like you, uh, might be able to get inside and find out what they're planning. I see. Cloak and dagger type stuff. I like it, but I'm just another, another stranger to them. Why would they let me in? The Forest Brotherhood and the Verm Vermafia are lifelong enemies, and each know much about the other. This is a beautiful amulet I wear. It's one of a kind and signifies that I am leader of the Brotherhood. If you bring it to them and say that you have killed me in single combat, they will recognize it and may believe you. Alright, I'll do it. Uh, grr, lie, steal, insult. Look out, rats. Here I come. Mythical Barbarian Axe. 49 damage. Uh, this... Yes, please. We've got a task. But we're also level 9. Look how huge that thing is! Goodness, good gravy! Taking a shortcut. I like my shortcuts when I walk so slow, anyhow. Okay, so before we go doing that thing, we're gonna build the new Goliath. We're gonna build the fire one. With all fire parts. Yeah. Looks good. Because it's a version of the fire of the wood. So that's all wood with fire arms. Not helpful. Whatever, good enough, I guess. And this is my new stone, Stony McStone face with the super axe. And I got an all fire. What does the fire chest do for me, actually? Let's look it up, huh? Make some super high fire resist. Plus fire damage, ignite on chance. 12.6 movement speed. And his, his weapons will be weapons of wood. So we need more spider webs and twigs to make that again. But this has been super fun, and I get so involved and drawn in. But that's what we're going to call the episode for today, guys. Next time, we're going to talk to the bandit, see if says leave, and then come back. I got to go to there. Oh, crazy. Luckily, I stopped by the base anyway. Next time, we're going to go kill... Uh, uh, excuse me. Negotiate with the bandit king. I assume he's a king. He probably called himself a king. And then we will see where this this glory takes us, because I have no idea. I mean, we just looked through the experiments, and all we saw was a wooden fire, but bam, here's stone, and stone has ice, and it goes and goes. You just look at the intro menu, and you can see, you know, I had that little flame arm. Maybe that's what they meant by the flamethrower, but I'm hoping they mean something even cooler somewhere down the line. Anyway, I've been surprised about that. Have a great night or day.